But what this is, it's not just about showing up for the moments. If you actually implement this, if you practice this, what it brings is resilience. Because life is going to throw us some curveballs. That's what it does. Life has some really amazing things, but then there are also some challenges, some really difficult things. And I believe resilience is the number one skill that entrepreneurs, small business owners, small business professionals, really anyone, if you want to achieve any level of success in your life, I believe resilience is the number one skill. Because if all we did was come in here and we get fired up and motivated and ready to conquer the world, and then we go outside and we hit a brick wall and get knocked down, it doesn't serve us. It's about being able to get back up when life hits you. That's where we can use learning to take a breath, to stay, step back from those thoughts and say, okay, that's just a thought. To step into this moment, to allow this moment to be what it is, to enter and blend, it brings resilience. It opens your life to, to grace, like I talked about. Just sometimes just good things happen. But if you're moving so fast, you can miss them. I believe there's an undercurrent of grace, of good, that's carrying us forward. I mean, how many of you would say whatever you've been through that you are glad to be where you are today in life? Yeah, me too. I mean, I've been through some really difficult stuff over the last six years, over the last year, the last six months. But you know what? I wouldn't trade where I am for anything. So it's about being able to be present, to show up, to flow through the moments, to allow grace. And we're going to make mistakes on the way. This is not about perfection. That's why I called this challenge, by the way, mastering the moments, not master the moments, because you don't master the moments. It's always a journey of mastering. It's about progress. It's not perfection. We're going to mess up, and you know what? It doesn't matter what happened in the last moment. It doesn't matter what you did, because guess what? A new moment starts right now. This moment. You are here now. And the question is, just like that mosaic, the question is, okay, here you are now in this moment. What will you do with this one? And I believe even more importantly, I, when I started this journey, I was focused on what will you do in this one. I believe an even more important question is who will you be in this moment? Who will you be in this moment? But the past, it doesn't matter unless you live there. This moment is new. This moment is an opportunity to turn it all around. Whatever it is that you're aiming for, the grand mosaic, in the end, it's going to be a masterpiece. If you don't like where it is right now, this moment is an opportunity to turn it all around. This moment matters. Thank you, guys.